Hello, Instagram. Happy New Year. This is the first Let's Get Cooking Live of the year. I'm so excited. I missed you all last week. That was just a very crazy long week that I'm like, oh, I cannot fit in a cooking show that week. So I've really missed everyone. But I'm excited to be here today. Let me just get the recipe page up here so we can all be together. Let's get cooking. I had like a toss up of like 20 different recipes I wanted to make today and I couldn't decide and I'm like, well, I just want to make everything. Oh, let me turn this down real quick so we don't get notifications. This one too. Okay, there we go. Then you won't like be vibrating and shaking around. All right, let me just share this so then we're all together and then we will start getting cooking. So I asked on my Facebook page, Oh, Nicole from Instagram. Happy New Year. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Oh, it's been a long week. And it's felt like this week has been like five years, but it's only been seven days. Well, 14 days since the last time we were together, but it's so fun. Robin, I'm so glad to see you. Needed someone cheery. Oh, me too. I needed you guys today too. But we always have to remember we are only one thought away from a good day and everything is going to be okay. It's gonna be okay, because we're gonna be cooking right now. All right, I have you up on the page, so let's start. And today I had a giveaway on my site. If I know a lot of you, I have a pocket full. I got this new little apron because I thought it'd be fun to wear cooking. So I have a whole pocket full of all the names, and we'll pick those at the end. Annette, I'm so glad to be here today. I'm so glad you're here, Annette. Oh, I love you guys so much, and I've missed you all. So much. So we are going to start with our whole food plant-based, which just means no oil, no meats, no dairy. So it's pretty much uh, cauliflower and hot sauce with some spices, and then you air fry it, and it is perfectly delicious. Nicole, haha. <laughs> oh, it's Nicole, that Nicole. On Instagram, it's hard to tell because all the names are so different. So yes, hello, Nicole, Thompson, Dave. Not even gonna try to pronounce that because I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but so fun to see you, the kitchen queen. She does all these amazing recipes. Cindy, hello, Cindy. Happy New Year, everyone. Marie on the uh, recipe page, hello, welcome. Aunt Patty, love your apron. Oh, thank you. Amazon, it was like five bucks, and it has cute little lacies, and it's got some pockets. So I thought, hey, then I won't get my clothes all dirty, which usually I don't, but you know, I've dropped things before, so it's all fun. All right, we are going to start with our cauliflower buffalo wings. I just call them wings because you just kind of think of like chicken wings that are buffalo, so it's kind of like that, but no meat. So you're gonna need a big old bowl, and then you can use fresh cauliflower, but that stuff gets expensive and moldy like that, so I like to get frozen, never gets bad. Uh, Janet, yeah, your apron is super cute. Oh, thank you, Janet. So I just get, this is just the Walmart brand, frozen cauliflower, and it's just the big chunks. I don't think this would work with the rice cauliflower. That would probably just crumble and turn into nothing. So I like to get just the big chunks, and you don't even have to cook this. You don't have to thaw this. I'm just going to open this up, and I think they make these bags childproof because I can never get them open. Uh, Lori, hi, Natalie. You look so cute. Oh, thank you, Lori. Annette, I'm so glad you're making the buffalo wings. Yes, I saw Annette, you were making these and they look so good that I'm like, okay, we gotta make some too. Megan, hi from Toronto, welcome from Canada. I think I'm gonna need a knife because I can never open these things. Knife in the dish. So when in doubt, when they make things childproof, you just be an adult and get a knife and open things. So we're just gonna throw this in a big old bowl. You don't need to thaw or steam it or anything. And then this is where we make it flavorful. I just have some Frank's hot sauce. Now the buffalo sauce does have other things in it. This sauce is literally just aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. So this is whole food plant-based, so it's good for you, nothing else in it. I think the buffalo sauce, because I was gonna get some, but then I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of ingredients. It had like some oils in it. It had, I think it had some sugars in it. So I'm like, Psh, nobody needs that. We'll just do the Frank's hot sauce, which works perfect. And I don't really measure this. I just kind of douse some in because we just want to get everything nice and coated. 
So we're just going to kind of just drizzle some on. I would say, I think this is like a 12 ounce bag of frozen cauliflower. So maybe like one to two teaspoons to a tablespoon of hot sauce. And when you cook the hot sauce, it gets, it's not super, super hot. So if you're thinking, oh no, this is like going to burn me forever. It doesn't. It's not that bad. Uh, Marcy, hi from Denver. Love the buffalo cauliflower recipe. One of my favorites. Me too. So good. I think I've had this like the last three days for like my lunch vegetables because I'm like, oh, I don't want to make a salad. Just throw it in the air fryer. Then I'm going to do some pink Himalayan salt. I like to salt things because it brings out delicious flavors. Then a little thing that I like to do also is I finally got on the nutritional yeast train with everybody else and I got some nutritional yeast. I got it just at my local health food store. So I kind of like to add about a tablespoon. I didn't really measure it. I just kind of douse it on top and then stir it all together because it gives it like a nice cheesy flavor, but not like cheese cheese because you know you add cheese and you can really taste that. This isn't that cheesy, but it gives it like just a nice coating. So I just kind of like to pour it on top. Now, you, if you don't have an air fryer, you can cook this in the oven. I would probably line a baking sheet and then cook it for about at 400 for about 15 minutes and stir it 10, 15 minutes just to make sure nothing burns. And then we're just going to toss everything in this bowl to get everything nice and coated because we want all the yummy flavors on everything. This already smells good. Nutritional yeast, I still don't really know what it is, but I know it tastes good. So, And it's supposed to be good for you. I know a lot of vegans use it in recipes instead of like cheese. It's supposed to give things like a cheesy flavor. But then I heard if you use too much, it can give things like an eggy, or eggy flavor. I totally missed the bowl. I'm stirring the counter here. Watch where you're stirring. Uh, Lisa just jumped on. What ingredients did I miss? We have cauliflower. We have Frank's hot sauce. I don't know if there's other hot sauces, but I just grabbed this one and I really liked it so far. It's not like super, it doesn't make you cry. It's not that bad. Uh, and then we did some salt and some nutritional yeast, mixed it all together with some frozen cauliflower. Now we're gonna throw it in the air fryer. Don't need to do any oil. You don't need to do anything with this. Just throw it in. You can use this recipe with other vegetables. I like to do it like with Brussels sprouts. Um, what are some other veggies? I've done it with like fries, uh, like uh, pick them fries, root bacon fries, carrot fries, that kind of thing. So just kind of like make sure it's one even layer. You don't want a lot of piling. I've done this with two bags of cauliflower because it does cook down quite a lot in the air fryer. So if you're wanting a lot of veggies, so then we're going to cook this on the French fry setting, which is 390 for, we're, we'll do 20 minutes, stir it, and then see how it is. I just kind of go like that. I put it in 390, stir it, check it, and then, oh, it's not done yet. We'll put it in another 20 minutes or so, 390. Annette, did it make your house stink? My kids are so funny when I made it because they said it stunk really bad. I'm not sure why, and I can't smell, so I don't know if it was really that bad. Oh, no, you can't smell. Um, oh, Roxy, what was the last ingredient? Nutritional yeast. It is like a spice. Gluten and GMO free. Um, designed to meet the nutritional needs of vegetarians and vegans and anyone desiring a rich source of B complex vitamins, including a natural source of B12. That's what it is. I just got this at my health food store. But you know what, Annette, I have noticed that my air fryer does kind of stink a little bit too. It gives off like a little bit of a, what was it, plasticky kind of smell? A little bit, but it's not bad. But it does, it does give off a little bit of a smell. Does anybody else's air fryer do that? Maybe it's just ours. I'm not sure. Uh, Marcy, in case you worry about weighing, the Blee website says 0.5 ounces of nutritional yeast is a condiment. That's a lot of nutritional yeast, almost too much for a recipe like this. That is true. And yes, you are completely right about that. I forgot to mention that. That yes, don't use more than 0.5 ounces. But this stuff is so light that you will probably never use 0.5 ounces. That is a lot of nutritional yeast. But I mean, if you're going to make like a sauce type thing, because I've seen like vegans 
they'll make like a sauce with it. So that would probably be a lot. Uh, Nicole, did you defrost the cauliflower first? I did not. I throw it right in frozen. Nobody's got time to defrost. I don't. I'm, I'm kind of like, eh. And it cooks just fine. It gets nice and crispy. So we have it in there for about 20 minutes, and then we'll check it, stir it, so we get a very even roast. So now, as that's cooking, we are going to make the coffees and cream bowl from volume nine, the brand new volume nine. We're gonna make another recipe from it because it's so fun. And this, oh no, I just lost the page. That's okay. But this was one of my favorite recipes. It was really good in this book. So we, this is a lunch recipe, but you could have this for breakfast if you swap your fat for your grain serving in the morning because you can do that where if you don't want to have a grain serving you can use a fat serving instead but not the other way around so like at lunchtime you can't be like oh i don't want a fat i want a grain instead that's not how that works it's kind of like the vegetables and fruit kind of thing tandalin the volume nine is beautiful oh thank you isn't it pretty my sister designed the cover this recipe is in the book we made this in our cookie extravaganza right before Christmas and then this is one of the delicious recipes in it so yummy one of my favorite salads all right so we're gonna dig into this recipe here let me just put this on my page so they open up. all right so we are going to take three ounces banana in a bowl here I have a bowl here and our scale mine is the Escali Primo scale it's my favorite scale it stays on for four minutes, which is nice because when you're cooking, you don't want to like step away to grab an ingredient and come back and it turns off and you don't remember what it was at, all that kind of stuff. So this is my favorite. I got it right off of Amazon. Decent price, super lightweight, easy just to change batteries, if anything. All right, so we are going to oh, turn on, turn on our scale. Then we're going to do three ounces banana. Let me grab a banana. And my bananas are perfectly ripe. They got a little bit of brown spotting, which is like my favorite ripeness for recipes because it's nice and sweet. Because the greener your banana, the less sweet they're going to be, and they'll be a little bit harder texture, which that's not what we want for this recipe. So we're going to do three ounces banana, 2.1, three exactly. I'm going to grab a napkin. There's nothing worse than having banana on your fingers. You can't cook with banana fingers. Nicole, happy to support you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nicole, everyone raves about you, all, as do I. Oh, Nicole, you are so sweet. Thank you. Nicole on the recipe page, you are so sweet. Thank you for watching and joining today and all the fun. So my favorite thing to mash banana is a fork. It just works so nicely. I just use the back of the fork and just squish everything super small. You don't want big chunks for this recipe, but you could have chunks if you wanted. Depending on how you like your banana. If you do not like banana, I know there are some people who are allergic or they don't like banana, pears make a good banana substitute because they're sweet, but they don't have like a super strong flavor or apples. Apples are a great banana replacement. You could even make like an apple jam for like a recipe like this if you want it more of like not a really chunky texture. And you can find the video. We've made apple jam on our cooking videos. You can find that on my website. You can find all the videos that we've ever done, weightlossrecipescookbook.com. And then it's in the uh, videos tab of the menu and you can find all the previous videos and we make apple jam there. And you can find all the other fun stuff. Okay, so we mashed our banana. Now we're going to add our yogurt. I like plain Greek yogurt. That's my favorite. I just recently ran out of my favorite yogurt from Aldi's, which is the whole milk stuff. That stuff is so creamy, but this works also. This is just Walmart brand Greek yogurt. Uh, we're going to do four ounces Greek yogurt. So zero our scale and just scoop four ounces. Almost. And four. All right, then we are going to add some nutmeg. It's just a pinch of each of these spices. So we're going to do a pinch of nutmeg. I think nutmeg right now is one of my favorite seasonings. There's just something about it I like. 
Uh, Tammy Smith, hi. Uh, Tammy, can I freeze the jam we made last time? Absolutely, you can freeze apple jam, you can freeze any fruit jam, and it thaws perfectly. I actually have a couple jars in my freezer right now. If you are going to use a ball jar, I found this out the hard way, don't fill it up to the top with the apple jam before you freeze it because it will burst. It didn't like explode, but it did like ooze out the top. So I would fill it, so let's pretend this is your jar. I would fill it to about there. So you got some wiggle room for when it freezes and expands. So just a word of warning, I found out the hard way. All right, we're gonna do a pinch of a nutmeg. And this is just to taste. You could do a big pinch, two big pinches. I just do a pinch. We're gonna do a pinch of cinnamon. A pinch of vanilla extract. So you can't like literally pinch vanilla extract, but it just means like a splash or just a little drizzle of vanilla. Then we're going to do a pinch of instant coffee. This up. And I'm gonna do two pinches of instant coffee because I like this stuff. It's delicious. And it does not taste like coffee at all. So if you are a person who doesn't like coffee, instant coffee doesn't taste like coffee at all. Uh, Tammy, good to know, thanks. You're welcome. And you're welcome, you won't have exploding jam in your freezer. That is not fun. But yeah, it freezes very well, thaws very well. I just take the jar, take the cap off, and microwave it a couple minutes, nice and thawed. Or I leave it out on the counter for a little bit. Then we're going to mix this together, this banana yogurt spice mix. Ooh, it smells so good. And if there's any chunks of banana, this is a good time just to kind of mash it up. This is going to have like layers of deliciousness. Make sure we get all the seasonings on the side. So it should look like this. Uh, what are you making? We are making the coffees and cream bowl from volume nine. It is page 71. Okay, so we did that. Now we're going to take a separate cup. These cups are stuck together. In a separate cup. Uh, Robin, I love your pinches and splashes. <laughs> Thanks. Well, sometimes it's hard to know. I'm like, I don't know. I just take a pinch and put it in and it tastes great. So I'm going to take a large drinking glass. Robin, is there another, another flavor I could add besides coffee? Ooh, that's a good question. You could skip the coffee. You could do, you could add more nutmeg and cinnamon if you want. I don't know if there's another spice. You could do chai spice instead of the coffee or just skip it completely. Uh, Nicole, trying to take my girlfriend. Oh, that is so fun. Yes, join the party. It is so fun having everyone here. So now we are going to add our milk. Here's my milk. I just get organic whole milk from my local grocery store. You could use any milk. You could use a plant-based milk. Uh, Nicole, she just texted a new recipe she tried and said it's from Natalie and I laughed and said I'm watching her right now. Oh my goodness. Perfect timing right there. That is so hilarious. Oh, love it. So fun. You girls are so cute. So we're going to do two ounces milk. I have to do it slowly. Another thing I really like about the scale is it reads really fast. So as I'm adding the milk, it's keeping up with it. All right, two ounces. Then we're going to add um, one teaspoon of instant coffee. This is where it gets fun. So if you notice on Instagram, oh, what was it? A couple months ago, there was this huge craze of this Dalgona coffee, or however you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. But they made this coffee, and it was so frothy, and it was so cool. It was like whipped coffee. But they added sugar to it, which keeps the stiff peaks longer, so it'll be frothy longer. Which, when you don't do that, it does get frothy with just the water and the instant coffee, but it doesn't stay. So if you're going to take a picture, take it quickly. But it still tastes good. So I'm going to take my immersion blender, or if you have like a, um, one of those, excuse me, hand mixers, those work also. You could just use one of the attachment things. But I have a whisk attachment for my immersion blender, which I just got off, got off of Amazon. Plug this. And we are going to whip this until stiff peaks 
form. So I'm going to do it on high. Here we go. I'll move back here so you can see it. Can everybody see this? Yes, you can. Uh, Nicole, it's amazing. Isn't it fun? I kind of like the whipped coffee. It's very fun. Word of, word of warning. When you're going to whip it, don't put the whisk in first and then turn it on. Turn it on, then gently put it in the milk so it doesn't splash everywhere. Learn that the hard way. Uh, nice apron. Oh, thank you on Instagram. Thank you. Got it right off of Amazon. It was just kind of fun. I thought, hey, we'll add to the cooking show. All right, so we're going to whip this. because it's getting it's not like super super stiff peaks and it's probably going to deflate pretty fast but we got some whipped coffee tracy whip it whip it good <laughs> when you read that you gotta say it like that um cj i use chai spice mix instead of instant coffee that is a great idea tammy what else will you be making today well we have some buffalo cauliflower in the air fryer right now so we're making that and this recipe and then we'll see where we go from here. Which, I'm gonna check on our buffalo wings right now. We're gonna give them a little stir because it's been about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna open this. And you can tell that they're not done because they're still, they're not toasty looking. We want everything nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna give them just a little stir so they get nice and evenly coated. All right, we're gonna put that right back in. In my face. We're gonna set it for another 20 minutes and just let everything get nice and crispy. Um, Linda Reeves, how much milk? We did two ounces milk. Patty looks yummy. Thank you, it does. Okay, so now we are going to add uh, a half ounce of brewed coffee, which I have some from this morning, which is perfect. So we're gonna do a half ounce and we're going to add it to our whipped coffee which is probably going to deflate it a little bit but that's going to be okay uh Dars, what is on your cauliflower that's a great question we have uh frank's hot sauce some salt and nutritional yeast just about a pinch of so of each we made everything nice and coated and nice and drizzled then we tossed it a little and threw it in the air fryer so we want half an ounce there we go and then we are going to add some vanilla extract let me grab my vanilla just a little pinch just a big splash splash or pinch and then we're gonna whip it again because we want everything nice and mixed doesn't work well with plant-based milk oh that's a good point it probably won't get super like fluffy with the plant-based milk it'll still taste good though because in this recipe here in the picture of the recipe I had used um, coconut coconut milk for the topping and yeah you're right it doesn't get frothy it still tasted amazing but yeah it doesn't get very frothy but cow's milk that does get pretty pretty good put that back 
All right, so now we're going to pour our whipped topping on top of this. We're going to get rid of this fork. I'm going to take a spatula. We're going to just pour this right on top. I want to make sure we get all the yummy goodness. It's going to have beautiful layers of fluffy. And then it's got the creamy, dense parfait on the bottom with the sweet. Wow, this turned out super fluffy. We want every little piece, nothing missing. So here's layer one and layer two together. It got nice and fluffy. Uh, Becky looks good. Thank you. It does look really yummy. Uh, Tracy, could you do aquafaba? You sure could do aquafaba. Now, would that taste good? I don't know. It might because aquafaba doesn't have like a really strong taste. So maybe mixed with the instant coffee, it might be, it might be fine. You might not even notice it. So we're going to be lazy and we're going to use the same glass. Well, not lazy, but less clean up. We're going to use the same glass for our next layer, which is our cream layer on top. Uh, so we are going to do one ounce of, you can use, well, it's not going to froth up as much. I like to use heavy whipping cream, which is one ounce for your full fat. But if you're using half and half, it would be two ounces for your full fat. And it might whip pretty much like the whole milk will. That's my guess. If you use half and half, then you get two ounces. But we're going to do heavy whipping cream because we want it whipped. Drop the cap. That's okay. We're going to do one ounce, so zero the scale. And this is our full fat for this meal. Perfect. One ounce. Then we're going to, where are we on here? In a separate glass, ask, add Add cream, and then we're going to do a splash of vanilla. A splash. A half ounce brewed coffee. Of course, no tea, because we only want half an ounce. Perfect. Um, and one teaspoon of instant coffee. The instant coffee really gives it that, like, gets it fluffy. I don't know why. I don't know what's in it that does that, but it is, and it's beautiful. So this is a half teaspoon. That's why I'm doing two scoops. Then we're going to whip this until stiff peaks form again. So again, don't put the blender in before you start. I kind of like to pulse and stir it just a little bit because it gets it nice and everything really frothy and mixed. So we're going to turn it on and zip it in. done because it gets a little bit thicker so this is going to be like more of a whipped cream texture instead of like the fluffy this is going to be more of like a thick dense whipped cream 
which have you ever made homemade whipped cream? It's actually really fun. I used to make it a lot before we ate this way, which we still could have it, but I just wouldn't add the sugars that I used to before. So you, I do have, I think there is a recipe. I don't remember what volume, but it was for eggnog whipped cream. And that was really fun because you can add that as your fat to meals and things. And that's really fun. Annette, where did you post about the giveaways? I always seem to miss that. Oh, no. I posted it on Instagram, on MeWe, on um, my Facebook page. It was on all of those. It was a week ago that I posted it. But I did reference to it. It was like a pink, colorful picture. And it said, giveaway, Happy New Year giveaway. It was... It was last Thursday that I posted it, so that's probably why you might not have seen it, but it was there. All right, so I think I'm gonna whip this just a little bit more. Now you don't wanna over whip it because it will start to like disintegrate or come apart. You can over whip it, kind of like egg whites where you can over whip those. You can do the same with whipped cream. And you can see that our coffee the big bubbles, it's starting to deflate, but that's okay, because it'll still taste good. So now we're gonna add this whipped cream mixture on top. Um, and then we're gonna scoop this and put it directly in the center. And it kind of disappears into the parfait, but that's okay, because it's still gonna be delicious. Because our middle, our middle thing is pretty fluffy, so everything kind of falls into it. But that's okay. It's the flavor that counts. I'm gonna make sure we get all of our delicious whipped cream. So here, let me grab a spoon so I can show you. Uh, Nicole, I ordered your nine cookbook a few weeks ago. I wonder when I'm gonna get it. That's a good question. There have been. Uh, so many shipping delays. I did ship out the books was it this last week or the week before. So it should be arriving pretty soon. There are some really major shipping delays right now with the USPS. Not sure why it still is, but it should be coming any day now. Uh, Tina, I love that too. Thank you, Tina. Uh, Wendy, does it help to keep it thick if you put it in the fridge while doing another layer? That's a good question. I don't think so because the um, milk, it really deflates really fast when you're making the Dalgona coffee without the sugar because the sugar, I don't know what the sugar does, but it keeps everything staying fluffy, but without it, it doesn't. I've kind of tried it both ways, like not with the sugar, but trying it in the fridge or trying it in other things, and it does deflate every time. But if you eat it really quick, then it won't. <laughs> so here is our coffees and cream bowl. So you can see our whipped cream layer in the middle. Then we have our fluffy coffee, or the whipped cream on the top, coffee in the middle, and then our cream mixture on the bottom. So then when you eat it, you wanna get a nice spoon of everything. And it is so good. Uh, Harvetta, what are you making? This is the coffees and cream bowl, bowl. The coffees and cream bowl from volume nine page 71 so we finished that now we'll check on our buffalo cauliflower wings uh harvetta i got a cute waffle maker today <gasps> yay i know all of you have been seeing all of you have been getting all these really cute waffle makers they are so fun and i know uh nicole and there was another lady i can't remember her name right now but she's been posting a lot of the waffle recipes and they look so good i tried the avocado and onion ring one but i put it together and it had both of them in a waffle that was so good with the cheese that was so good uh, nicole yay thank you robin besides amazon where could i find your books you can find all of my cookbooks and more and this video and all of my pinterest recipes all the recipes i've posted tons of stuff on my website weightlossrecipescookbook.com or you can find all of my cookbooks at barnesandnoble.com also which you can find a link to my cookbooks on my website on the very bottom and i'll say find at barnes and noble at the bottom you can click there and find it uh robin vaccine rollout has greatly affected usps that could be it yeah that's 
there's a lot going on in the world right now and that affects the mail which kind of stinks because we want our stuff now i know i have some things waiting in the mail i'm like get to me uh harvetta oh susan could you do any recipes for the mini pie maker <gasps> Ooh, i like mini pie makers so a cool trick i've learned is almost almost any waffle pancake cookie cake or bake uh, donut recipe you can make in one of those i know i have a couple different makers that are like my favorite thing to find at thrift stores right now i just found a new one i'll get it and show you i got i found this at my latest thrift store find i like to go to little thrift stores and it actually came with like cake box mix like the mix for these cake pops and I just gave those away because I just wanted the maker. I haven't tried it yet but I'm so excited and it has different little plates so this one's like a heart one it has little um star shaped ones so you can literally take a muffin recipe make it in this a cookie recipe make it in this it's super fun how do you open this thing I haven't used it yet but yeah it's really cute so just different little maker things I waffle makers can be a little bit trickier than like these kind of little cookie maker things or cake makers because a lot of things can stick to a waffle maker but these have been pretty good at not letting things get super stuck to it uh, Instagram looks amazing so it's a full protein full fat half fruit I heard three ounces banana did I miss something so in this recipe it's or should I just tell you what you side with it? Maybe that's easier. So side with this recipe, or I'll just tell you what's in it. So there was two ounces milk, which is a fourth of your protein, four ounces Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, which is a half of your protein, three ounces banana, you were correct, uh, one ounce of cream, which is your full fat. So yes, you would side this for lunch with one fourth protein, three ounces fruit, and six ounces vegetables for a complete lunch and then you have a complete beautiful lunch, which is so fun. So it's not like a treat, it's a meal. It's part of your meal. Uh, Nicole, yay, so glad you like the chaffles. Thank you for the shout out. They are, they were really good. I'm excited to try even more of them. That broccoli one, that looked really good. I'm excited to try that one too. Um, Harvetta, the big book is all your cookbooks in one, correct? Close, so the big book, I have all my cookbooks here because I literally cook from them and my mom and sister cook from them also. So the big cooking with joy, this is volumes one through five in one book. So then six, seven, eight, and nine are not in here. So if you want like the complete set, you would get this one and then six, seven, eight, nine. But exciting news, I'm working on volume 10 right now. When I finish that volume, then I'll be putting together a cooking with joy to so there'll be two giant big books. So Cooking with Joy 2 will be volume six through 10 in one big book. So there'll be two big books. So excited about those. So new things are coming. Then I'm planning on putting together another whole food plant base. And this time I'm gonna try to do some more dinner and lunch recipes. Cause I know the first one has a lot of breakfast recipes because those were just the ones I looked through my cookbook and I'm like, oh, that's whole food, that's whole food, that's whole food plant-based just put it all together in one book. So I'm gonna to try to make it a little bit more rounded out. Amy, hi Natalie, this is your friend. I missed a comment. Oh, Trish, which book is the Buffalo Buffalo Cauliflower Air Fryer Wings in? I can't find it in the Whole Food Plant-Based one. That recipe is not in any cookbook yet. I just kind of, it was about two, three, maybe about a month ago that I'm like, I bought some hot sauce, I'm like, let's try these wings and I got some nutritional yeast, and I'm like, hey, all those ingredients, let's throw it together, see what we can make, and I've been making it ever since. It's been so good. Uh, Harvetta, okay, thanks. Let's see, we have some questions here. Janice, hi, Natalie. Janice here, sorry I'm late. That's okay. I had to go to the DMV to renew my license and health card. <gasps> that is a long line most of the time. And you made it back, good job. Uh, they expire tomorrow, ooh, close call. I will watch the rest and watch the replay. That is a great idea. Thanks, thankful for replays that come after. That is so fun. Uh, Robin, yay, can't wait for your new plant base. Thank you. Yes, so I'm planning on putting that together also. So new things are coming. It just takes time to get them all put together. 
Uh, Krista, can you make the wings without an air fryer? You sure can. I would line a baking sheet with parchment paper or oil the baking sheet. Maybe drizzle a little bit of oil on the cauliflower wings if you're not whole food plant based, whichever one you want to do. Then I would do about 400 on in the oven and then every like 10-15 minutes give it a good stir to make sure you get an even cooking and make sure nothing is burning. If things do start to burn you might want to turn the heat down depending. All ovens are so different. Uh, Dar Dar Benson, I don't have any cookbooks yet but I would like to order the big cookbook soon. That would be so fun. You would have over 300 recipes in one book. This is definitely, I wish I would have had something like this when I started eating this way. I was so lost. I didn't know what I was doing. I almost quit because I'm like, I cannot eat steamed broccoli and baked chicken anymore. I'm going to, ugh. So then I, I'm like, I got adventurous and put this together. Amy, Natalie, what did you make today that I missed? We're making buffalo cauliflower wings and coffee and cream bowl from volume nine. Uh, Susan, are you going to be posting these recipes? Uh, this, the coffees and cream bowl is in volume nine, so that I won't be posting, but I will post the cauliflower buffalo wings. Those I will post tonight, tonight or tomorrow sometime. We'll have to see. I am going out of town tomorrow, so I'll see what I have time. I bet tonight I'll have time. Harvetta, can you do things with spaghetti squash and things for the air fryer in book 10? <gasps> Ooh, yes. I already have the recipes going in that book. Let me think. Do I have any spaghetti squash? I know I don't have any air fryer ones in that cookbook yet because I'm kind of backlogged on recipes, but I think I might have a spaghetti squash recipe. I'm not done putting all the recipes in it yet, so I'll have to see, but yes, those will be coming soon. Uh, Robin, yay, can't wait. Oh. I already read that comment. Okay, so we're gonna check on our buffalo wings. Move this coffee out of the way. Let's see how they're going. Oh, they are perfect. So I like my buffalo wings pretty crispy. I like my roasted vegetables pretty crispy, like right on the edge of, oh, those disintegrated and they're burnt, but not all the way. I like it where it's nice and dark golden brown. Some people like their things not as done, but that's how I like it. So these are perfection. Did this burn? No, we're good. So these are perfection. Let me put them, I'm just going to put them back in this bowl. That's what I usually do when I cook it because there's a little bit of like sauce in there. So when you put your wings back in there, they get a little bit extra hot sauce and flavoring. So, here are our cauliflower wings. Look at how crispy delicious they got. Like, this one could be done just a little bit more for me, but that's just how I like it. But, oh my goodness, yum! <gasps> this one is, like, perfectly crispy. So, if you really like crispy stuff, cook it a little long. And this is you cook to taste. So, you could do it every 10 minutes, then stir it and see how you like it. But these are perfection, and they're not too spicy. I like these. Now, my mom and sister, I don't know if they would like them. They do not like spicy food at all. So you could skip the hot sauce if you're not a spice fan. You could do, like, a different, I know Stubbs has a couple different marinades. Uh, Stubbs is, like, a brand of foods, and they have a couple sugar-free marinades. One is, like, an orange one. I think it's orange ginger. They have, like, a teriyaki one. So you could use that instead of the hot sauce. And then just pour a little bit of that on if you're not a hot sauce fan. But for me, these are probably like a medium salsa, hot sauce, or medium hotness for me. But that's just me. I like hot stuff. Uh, Harvetta, can, oh, that's the same question. Me too. Harvetta, they look good. Yes, sometimes you just need a little crunch to your life, and these are just perfect. So then you weigh these, and they don't weigh very much, which is kind of fun also. Because I'm a quantities person, I like my food to look nice and gorgeous, a big full plate. Amy, Natalie, who is speaking today at Bible study? That's a good question. It's either Kelly or John, and I think it's John tonight. Yes, if you need a little uplift, a little inspiration, a little hope with everything going on in the world, join us tonight, 6.30 p.m. on the Love of God Family Church Facebook page or my personal Facebook page. I share the watch party. 
and we have a Bible study right in my kitchen, right over here. We sing before, our, my family is the worship band, so we sing a whole song before, it's really fun. And then we just, we really encourage each other. It's a fun time, it's my family right here. We all kind of talk about things and we really get into hope and faith and inspiration and it's just, you feel better after. So 6.30 Central Time tonight, Love of God Family Church Facebook page. Uh, all things, sorry I missed this, I need to set my notifications. Oh no, thankfully there's the watch. You can watch it later once we're done with the live, which we're almost done. We have to pick our winners. Uh, then you can watch it later. Otherwise, I'll be posting it on my website also. And then you can see it there. You can catch the watch later and find the whole thing uh, on weightlossrecipescookbook.com. Annette, barbecue sauce is good on the cauliflower too. Oh, yes, barbecue sauce. Totally forgot about that. And then I know Stubbs has a sugar-free uh, sweet and spicy sauce, which is not like spicy at all. And that that's kind of like my favorite little dipping sauce right now. I count it like a ketchup, so I just use a little bit, which is really fun. Tracy, I can almost smell it. My mouth is watering. <laughs> uh, Robin, how long and what temp did you cook the cauliflower? I was late. So I did it 390 because that's the highest my air fryer goes to, which is just the French fry setting. And then I did 20 minutes, but I checked them like at 15, stirred them, then did another 15, 20 minutes, and then they got nice and crispy. So you just kind of keep doing that till it gets to your desired crispiness. Um, Tracy, you could do a wasabi soy sauce ginger sesame seed air fryer cauliflower. Ooh, yeah, get it nice and saucy. Maybe do like a splash of apple cider vinegar on it. That sounds amazing, Annette. All right, so we made our coffees and cream ball. We made our buffalo wings. Time for the giveaway. I have a pocket full of all of you who entered, which was so fun. Giveaways are like one of my favorite things. So I'll show you what you guys will be winning. I have a box full of things. You get to choose what you're gonna win. I'm gonna pick a bunch of people because I love you guys so much. And it's the new year and to celebrate and we worked together last week. So to tell you how much I love you, I have a bunch of things. I have a little goodie bag. Well, not little, but I have a goodie bag. I'm not even going to tell you what's in it because it has a lot of fun stuff. There's some things in here. It's got a bunch of little things in this bag that is so fun. So you could win this goodie bag and it has cool things in it. I have a bunch of those to pick from. Or I have Christy McCammon. She put together a 100-day food journal and I got a couple of them. So I'm like, hey, you could win one of these also. It is one of the coolest journals. I know she has, I think it's a year journal. It's a big one. That one I don't have. I just have the 100 day. And it's so cool because you start with your date. Life Unbinged. You can find this, I think, at lifeunbinged.com or .org. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, lifeunbinged.com. So in the beginning, she has your 100 day tracker. So you cross off. You did a good day. Then it has your one day, you have your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. Then it has your thoughts and feelings for that day. So you can kind of journal in it. Then I'm thankful for, and then your weight and your bright day, what day you're on. So that's really cool. You could win one of those. I only have two of those. So I will be asking when, if you win, I will be asking you in order of who wants so you. If you win first, you get to pick first. Then I have some, oh, I'm going to get this right because I always, Say it backwards. O U R, O U R T-shirts. Now O U R is a, a non is an organization that they help fight human trafficking, uh, and they save children all over the world. It's really cool. You can find them uh, O U R O R Rescue org, and you can find them on there. So I have a bunch of T-shirts from them, all different sizes. I have this beautiful green one. I have this in red. And oh, they're so cute. This one fits very true to size, or just a little bit larger than true to size. This one fits just a little bit smaller, but it's really cute. This one says, join the fight. I have it in red. Also, this is the one I have. It's so fun. I really like to wear them. Yeah, so you get to support a great organization, and you get to spread awareness for human trafficking, saving our kids, which is so important. I have this one, too. This one fits a little bit on the smaller side, and it says, shine your light, but isn't it just so pretty? This one's a V-neck. 
So I have a bunch of different of those to pick from. I have this one, Fight for Good. So those are the things you can win. So we're going to pick our winners. Harvetta, how, what do you have to do to enter to win? I had a post last week, and then it kind of came up ever so once in a while that you would, that there were some steps on there to do. So I will be having more giveaways like later and more often, which I hope to have a lot more often because it's so fun and I like sending you guys things. Okay, so we're going to pick our winner number one. I got to mix it up really nice. I got a nice big pocket. So we're going to pick one winner is CJ Matney. I think CJ was on here. CJ Matney, you are the first winner. So I'll keep this so you can send me a message or I'll send you a message and then you can pick what prize you want to get. Then we have Maureen Fletcher Landry, 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 Landry. You won your winner number two. You can send me a message or I'll send you one. So exciting. Yeah, so you can pick any one of those prizes. Let me get another one. We'll pick five prizes today. Let's do five. Then we have Robin. I don't know how to pronounce this. Robin Ucknow. 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 Robin Ucknow. You won. You won a prize on the free giveaway. Then we have Sean Nisler Heenan. If I am totally say these names incorrectly, I am sorry, but it's as close as I can get. You won a prize. I know she actually lives pretty close around me. Funny story. I was at Walmart one day and me and my mom and sister were there. We were just running errands really quick. And I get this message on my phone that says, oh my gosh, I just saw your mom and sister. I'm in Walmart at this time. I'm like, wait, someone knows me. So I'm like looking around. I didn't see her. She saw us coming in outside, which was hilarious. So we were so close to meeting. It's like those movies where they just pass each other just like that. That would have been so fun. She was driving through my town. So fun that we were this close. Uh, Harvetta, ladies, Annette, you're so cute. Thanks, Annette. You're cute, too. You guys are so sweet. All right, and our last winner is, drumroll, Shelly Kelly. That is a cool name. I really like your name. Shelly Kelly, you are the last winner of today's giveaway. So, CJ Matney, Maureen Fletcher Landry, Robin, Ucknow, Ucknow, uh, Sean Nisler Heenan and Shelly Kelly, you are the winners. You can send me a message. I'll try to message you, find you on here again. Robin, yay! Just my Facebook pseudo name. Oh, pseudo last name. Robin, you know. Wait a second. Oh, you know. That's how you say it. Okay, I'm like, wait, do I know? I do know. So fun. I would love one of your grab bags. Okay, perfect. I will put grab bag for you if now I can look you up on orders if you have ordered from me but if not I will just need your address to send this to you Gail congrats to the winner and thank you dear Natalie for the recipes today oh you're welcome Gail you're so sweet Bay B B Cheska I'm back welcome back so fun to have you all right so I will be contacting the winners. You can pick out your prizes. Thank you for joining me today. Now, announcement for next week. Next week, I have an appointment at my dentist, which is always so fun. Dentists, you just love them. But I still want to have a cooking show, and it won't work to do it Wednesday, and it won't work to do it the day after. So I'm still going to have it on Thursday, but we're going to have it earlier in the day, and I'm going to show you what I make for, like, a typical lunch, which is I like variety, so it's going to be a wide variety of food. Oh, Marie Goff. Yes, you're on there, too. So funny. I don't know. The names on Instagram are hard to tell. But, yes, so next week uh, we'll be having our cooking show at noon, central time. That's my time, central time. So we'll be having it at noon, and I'll show you what I'm going to have for, like, a typical lunch that day. You're going to be in the kitchen making lunch with me, which will be really fun. So we're still having it on Thursday, just earlier in the day, like two and a half hours earlier, which isn't too bad. So hopefully you can make lunch with me. I'm planning on making a 
my favorite thing right now is I'm kind of into waffles, which I know a lot of you are too, because a lot of you have gotten waffle makers for Christmas or you've just gotten them yourself, which is so fun. So we'll be making something waffles and something fruity parfait on top, because you know, my favorite is like Greek yogurt. That's my favorite thing to have all the time. Amy, Natalie, I did your giveaway, but I did not win the giveaway, Natalie. It's not fair. Well, not everybody can win. Uh, Pamela, hi, Natalie. I just jumped on to say hi and that I appreciate your recipes. Oh, thank you, Pamela. You are so, so sweet. Thank you, Pamela. And thank you all for entering the giveaway. I will be having one again pretty soon. Maybe we'll have to do another bake-off. That was so fun seeing all of you make those beautiful bakes and like your presentation and all that stuff. So I think we'll have to do another one of those and then have prizes and giveaways for that too. So fun cooking with you. And you can find my volume nine and more on my website, weightlossrecipescookbook.com. And the winners, please contact me or I'll contact you. We will get in touch. Thank you for joining me today. Next week, we'll be at 12 p.m. Central Time. Becky, thank you for all your hard work. Oh, thank you, Becky. Did I mention that I just love you guys? I missed you so much last week when we didn't have our cooking show. So I'm so glad that we're still going to be able to have it next week, just a little earlier in the day. And there's always the watches later. Pamela, can you name all the winners, please? I missed hearing them. It was CJ Matney, Maureen Fletcher Landry, uh, Robin, you know, Robin, I know, and Sean Nistler Heenan and Shelly Kelly. Now that one I know I pronounced right because that is an easy to pronounce name. Uh, sweetie, have a great time cooking with you. Ciao. Bye, sweetie. Uh, Becky. All right. Well, thank you, Janice. Thank you so much for today. Looking forward to the replay. And now I'm looking forward to next Thursday at noon central time. Awesome. So fun. I never want to say goodbye to you guys. It's so hard to leave because I love cooking with you. I love having you in my kitchen. It's always so fun. And remember, you're only one thought away from a good day. And no matter what's going on in the world, it's all going to be okay. When you're feeling overwhelmed, just take a deep breath and remember, it's all going to be okay. God's still here. He still loves us. He's still for us. And everything's going to be okay. And we're only one thought away from a good day. Having a bad day? Change that one thought. It's a good day. All right. I love you guys. Pamela, awesome. Congratulations, everyone. Yes, congratulations. And I will see you next week at noon. Follow me on my Instagram, on my Facebook, on my YouTube, Pinterest, MeWe. I'm new on MeWe. That is so fun. All right, love you guys. Find me on all those. You can find the links to those on my website, weightlossrecipescookbook.com. I love you and have a great day with joy, Natalie.